Odd's name. There is no one like the Lord. But after decades of struggle, he too has failed to halt the Philistines. Prophet, we await you. And the people's patience is wearing thin. So what is it that troubles you? We are grateful prophets. You have led us for many years. God has led us. Samuel, you are not as young as you were. We are worried. Who will speak to the Lord after you? Who will lead us against the Philistines? My sons will inherit my place. Your sons are corrupt. My sons have been brought up to trust in God and obey his laws. Everything I have done for you, I have done because I walk in God's ways. We know that they take bribes. Everyone knows it. They shame your good name. So, when you are gone and the Philistines return and we look to your sons to call on God, will God answer? No, he will not. Then what do you want? A king. As other nations have. But look what other nations' kings do. They become tyrants. They make slaves of their people. Not if they are chosen by God, anointed by his righteous prophet, by you. You would reject our God. God promised us this land. This is God's kingdom. He is our only king. You have the ear of the Lord Samuel. You must Ask him to choose a king for us. Leave me alone. All of you. I have given everything. Now they have rejected me. And you, God. But if you say I should give them a king, then of course I will. But who should it be? Justly and wisely and according to God's law. I anoint you the first king of Israel. And I, as God's prophet, help you in any way I can. A new era in Israelite history is beginning. The period of prophets and kings. They must work together to secure the promised land. Next time on The Bible. Are the men ready? They're ready. They must make a sacrifice before we attack. May God forgive you be a king. No!
Leave the job of priest to me. You are our prophet. But I am your king! What the Lord gives, he can take away. God is with me! I am with him, Lord. Really? You disobeyed the Lord. He has torn your kingdom from you and given it to David. When you have my crown, will you not kill my descendants? Bury my name! Jerusalem. A new home. The king is never above his God. You abused your power. You took everything from your most loyal servant. You took his wife. Then you took his life. You think God doesn't see everything? I am his chosen one. David, he will bring disaster on your house. We shall see.